what does it mean for the other nominees? Some people say sacrificial lamb, Gates is done. Everybody else is an easier chance. Other people say now these other nominees are going to get the scrutiny that Matt Gates is going to get. Because the Gates story, as long as he was the nominee, you know, underage sex, payments, prostitution, witnesses, testify, all that, release the report, not release the report, that was going to take up a lot of bandwidth. And for those who want us to talk about policy, we will, and we have, but we're talking about these nominations now because this is what's in the news and and I think where a lot of people's interests lay. But the policies matter and we'll, we will have plenty of policy conversation. In any event, I think Pete Hegseth is still in trouble and I think the scrutiny now goes to him. <clears throat> I want to put up a tweet that someone did uh, uh, to illustrate why I think he's also in trouble. And not just because of the this, this one set of allegations. All right, this is a tweet. It's worth noting Hegseth's version of the story is a couple of months after his new wife had a baby. He went to a conservative political conference, got really drunk, hit on many women who found him revolting, had an argument with this woman, then had consensual sex with her. Now, the only part of that that I, I don't know to be true based on public accounts is I'm not sure the woman was already his new wife. He, he was, he was going to have a baby with her and marry her eventually. But I'm not sure by then it was his new wife. Otherwise, I believe that's actually correct. That doesn't speak well of him. And, I, and I'd wonder whether he'll have to address it. He's sticking to he was never charged. His, he, he, he had an agreement with the woman because he didn't want to have public accusations. But the point of this mostly or entirely accurate tweet is <clears throat> it's not a great series of events. And as I've said before, not casting his persons on him, I believe this will not be the only personal accusation he faces. That's my sense from stories that I've heard. In addition, some senators are going to have concerns about his, you can take the tweet down, about his his his, his uh, uh, management record, et cetera, to do the job. I think he's got a pretty good chance to be confirmed now because of this Gates is a sacrificial the sacrifice to the confirmation gods. And and because Republicans are circling the wagons around him much more than they did about Gates. Now, he has criticized Republican senators in the past, but not the same way Matt Gates did. Ads for Nome. Kennedy and uh I always forget the fifth one. Uh help me out, Noah. Who's the fifth one? Uh Tulsi. Tulsi Gabbard. As for those three, I, I think they're all on track to be confirmed today, but it will it will um it will um depend on how the hearings go, etc. Back to Gates, one more thing. Um we said this morning on the morning meeting, the facts will matter, right? That's what we said. We said, if he's guilty as charged, and people think that, and again, my sense is that they felt from the Venmo records alone, he was guilty enough to say he's never going to be confirmed. 